Hey y'all, it's Colin from hiptosave.com and I am back today to talk about how to make your own homemade, healthier coffee creamer. Um, what kind of made me want to do this was, first of all, I'm a total coffee addict, so of course I'm looking for a good deal on creamer, a healthier creamer. And so when I found this recipe online, I was like, oh my gosh, this is so simple, so much better for you because literally it doesn't have all the additives like Coffee Mate does. Actually, let me read those off to you because it's not even, ugh. So check out what is in this Coffee Mate coffee creamer. Okay, we've got water, sugar, partially hydronated soybean and or cottonseed oil, less than 2% of sodium casinate, whatever you say, natural and artificial flavors, mono and diglyride, dipotassium phosphate, cellulose gel, color added cellulose gum, carrageen, so I didn't pronounce half those words. As you can see, it's kind of it's scary what we're ingesting these days. So basically what this coffee creamer recipe requires is two ingredients. Yes, two, and they're right here. Milk, any kind of milk, 2% whole milk, whatever you like. I personally like whole milk because I like my stuff really creamy. And sweetened condensed milk. You can buy the store brand, whatever you like. You need a 14 ounce can. And I don't know if you know, but sweetened condensed milk literally has two ingredients. It's basically milk and sugar. So compared to that coffee made I just talked about, yeah, big difference. So basically you're adding in three ingredients total when you when you um, count the milk. So, oh no, actually two ingredients because that is milk, that's milk and sugar. Two ingredients, milk and sugar. <laughs> so here's how you make your creamer with these two wonderful ingredients. You take the milk and you're gonna pour in 14 ounces of milk. I'm just doing a measuring cup, like a large measuring cup because it's easier. And then you just take the sweetened condensed milk, kind of thick, and you just pour it in with the milk, and you just whisk it all together. And that is seriously how you make like a basic creamer. Obviously then after you do this you can add in flavors, I'm going to tell you about that in just a sec. And as you can see here, these are, I've used these little canning jars because they're really easy to pour the creamer into, and they're glass jars which is better to keep in your fridge. And what's nice about them is when you take out the creamer to use it, you literally just need to shake it up a little bit because that condensed milk tends to fall to the bottom. So just make sure to give it a good shake and then you can open it and pour it into your favorite coffee. Um, also, this will last in your fridge for about two weeks. So, I mean, it's a pretty good amount of time for your taste. You can actually add in any kind of flavor you want. You can leave it plain or you can do vanilla. I've heard, I just got this product at my local health food store, but I've heard that the vanilla bean paste is the best if you want to do like a really good vanilla creamer versus just doing like a vanilla extract. Um, you can also change it up. You can do like an almond extract. I mean, really you can do whatever you want in here to kind of give it the flavor you want. I'm going to show you guys how to make the peppermint mocha, which is one of my favorite. You just take, you get a peppermint extract. You put in, again, this is a taste preference. You can put in one to two teaspoons. I'm gonna do two teaspoons. No, actually you can do one teaspoon. That was of the cocoa, you don't want it. That's a lot of extract. So one teaspoon peppermint extract. Put that in there. And then you're gonna take unsweetened cocoa powder. And you can put in one to two teaspoons of the unsweetened cocoa powder, of course, depending upon how chocolatey you like it. I like it pretty chocolatey, so I'm gonna do a little bit more. And you can just eyeball it too if you're pretty confident in the kitchen. And then you literally just whisk it all together. This may take just a little bit because the cocoa powder is kind of stubborn to get all whisked in there. It's really, really stubborn. And after you've whisked it enough, you can go ahead and pour it in your container. I already have some in there. And also, once you put it on the top, you can always shake it up further, especially before you pour it into your coffee. But there you have it, a wonderful four ingredient now, coffee creamer with no preservatives, no additives, no nothing, so great. So if you are a coffee drinker like I am, next time you're at the grocery store, make sure to pick up some milk and sweetened condensed milk to make your very own unbelievably good and healthier coffee creamer. Um, and of course, when you get home and you're drinking your coffee, make sure to check out hiptosave.com and make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys next time, cheers.